Hi everyone, good morning. Myself Sarita from Harsha Trainings. Today interview's topic in PEGA is flows. So let's move on to topic. Hi Harsha. Hi. Today our topic is flows. Okay. Shall we start? Yes, we can. What is straight through process? Straight through process in PEGA is we are going to design a transaction model without any assignments. Any flow that we create with no assignments, which means there is no human interaction. So all the uh, uh, flow, entire flow is going to have utility shapes, decision shapes, integrator shapes. So like this, without any assignments, then this is called as straight through process, which will be done without any manual interaction. Okay. Can we call a connector rule in screen flow? If so, how? If not, why? We cannot call a connector rule from screen flow because in screen flow, integrator flow shape is not available. That is only available in process flow. So we cannot call connector rule in screen flow. Okay. Let me ask you one scenario. We have a process flow with five assignments. User inputs the data in all five screens. If validation at fifth screen is successfully done, then only all the data from the beginning of the flow till last screen should be stored into the database. If validation fails, the data of the, all the flow should not get stored into the table. How to achieve this? Usually in a process flow, for every screen there is a submit option. When submit is being done, each screen data is going to get stored into work table. So, but if you wanted to store all five screens or all the assignments at a time at the end or maybe at some point in time, then we need to go with an option of create temporary case. In the workflow under process tab, there is an option available create temporary case. So when we select this option, a temporary work object gets created, but data will not be committed into the tables. It will not get stored into tables. So at the fifth screen, after validation is successfully done, as a next step, we have to use one flow shape called persist case. When we use this flow shape persist case, then the previous data, whatever that is available, will get stored into uh, database and the temporary object will get converted into a permanent work object. This is how we can achieve it. Okay. A similar scenario. If I am using the screen flow, I want to save the, all the assignment data at the end of the screen flow. How to achieve this? Okay. So if we want to store the data of all assignments in a screen flow only at the end of the screen flow, in the start shape of the screen flow, we have an option available that is save on last step. When we select this option, the all the assignments data will be temporarily stored up to the clipboard and only when the last flow shape is successfully completed then entire data will get persisted into the work table or respect to tables so this is how we can achieve this okay one more scenario we have a flow in production with four assignments as per a new business requirement we want to remove one assignment in line but there are some open tasks on this assignment which should not get impacted how to achieve this Okay, so this can be achieved in multiple different ways. Uh, let's uh, we can do it by using circumstance, and we can do it by using decision shape, and the same we can even do it by using uh, ticket. As ticket is being deprecated, anyhow, let me tell you the three ways if possible. Like we can uh, take this flow and circumstance it, and when we circumstance, we can remove the assignment from the circumstance, and the circumstance flow is going to have three assignments, and the original flow is going to have base rule is going to have four assignments and now the circumstance we are going to do it based on the date property the production release date from the day we move the code to live environment that date we need to consider as a circumstance property px create date time is equal to is is greater than or equal to the date when we move to the production this date we can define in dss or somewhere and we can read it and now whenever the work object is being created latest work object when it reaches this particular flow it is going to verify the circumstance condition that the date of the work object px create date time is the old date or the current or latest date. If it is the production release date and later, then circumstance flow with three assignments will get executed, which means that for the new work objects, the reassignment that is been removed will not be getting hit. And in case if the work objects were created in the past, then those work objects will go through the base rule because the circumstance uh, condition is going to fail. And the same we can also implement by using decision shape. We can add a decision shape in front of the assignment and we can make a decision condition to skip the assignment and to go to the next assignment after that or the next flow shape after the uh, assignment which we would like to skip. Here also the condition we can use based on the px create date time is greater than or equal to the production release date. 
and the other way around uh, we can use a ticket and we can set a ticket after the uh, before the assignment which we would like to remove and based on the condition we can set the ticket the condition is again the same px create date time is greater than or equal to production release date or more then the ticket can be called after the assignment in, in the next shape of the assignment which we would like to remove if the condition is met the work object is going to jump from this assignment in, in, to the calling place of the ticket if condition is not met work object will go through the existing assignment this is how we can make sure that the in flight cases whatever that is available are not going to get impacted let's move on to next question we have a screen where we have navigation rule on click of navigation item we need to call a flow how to achieve this okay in a navigation menu item we can uh, on click of the menu item we can call an activity from the activity we can call the flow so in order to call the flow from an activity we can uh, use uh, we can call one otb activity new or maybe another activity is there new from flow and one more activity is there svc create work object like that and any of these active these three activities when we are calling from an act another activity we need to pass the flow name as a parameter to this activity and the flow class means the class in which the flow is been created so then on click of the navigation item our activity will get executed our activity will call the otb activity new or new from flow or svc create work object and which in turn take the parameters of flow name and class name and executes the flow we'll get the first assignment of the flow created and routed to the respective operator okay let's move on to next question explain about the otb exception handling mechanism in workflows provided by pega so by default pega provides an exception handling mechanism in workflows if there is any error situation or exception situation that happens in the workflows let's say for example i am routing a, i want to route an assignment to one operator but i forgot to give the operator id in the routing place in that case the workflow will go with an exception and this flow is going to automatically get routed to one predefined flow provided by pega that is flow problems so not only for this situation for any exceptional situation pega is going to automatically call uh, the uh, exception handling flow called flow problems so our work object will move to flow problems and there a new assignment will will get created which is going to display the error message after the developer is going to fix the issue you can move the case back to the main calling flow where it has been caught with an exception thank you for watching this video i hope you gained some knowledge on flows we'll continue next session also with flows if you have any queries please mention in comment box we'll try to resolve in next videos please subscribe to harsha trainings channel New Pega batch will start from April 12th morning 7 am to 8 am IST if you want to join with Harsha trainings please call to the mentioned number in video thank you